Hello everyone! It's Ma'am Hedo once again and welcome back to my channel. Bago tayo pumunta sa ating lesson, uh, shout out sa aking former student na si Herlene Salvador. Uh, napansin niya na may mali ako doon sa aking uh, example and it was my mistake really kasi hindi ko napansin yung 5. Kaya hindi ko siya naisama sa final answer. Thank you Herlene! Pumunta na tayo ngayon sa ating lesson, ang addition at subtraction ng rational algebraic expressions. So, katulad rin ng mga fractions na puro numbers lang, ang rational meron ding similar at dissimilar fractions. Kapag ka parehong denominator, ang tawag doon ay similar, at kapag magkaiba ang denominator, dissimilar. So, syempre, magsisimula tayong mag-add at mag-subtract sa pinakamadali, yung similar rational algebraic expressions. Okay? Let's proceed. I have here two examples of similar rational algebraic expression. So, let's start solving. r plus 6 over 3r minus 6 plus r plus 1 over 3r minus 6. So, the first step that you are going to do is to copy the denominator since they have the same denominator. And then, we add the numerator. So, how do we add? We copy first the numerators. And then, combine similar terms. Meaning, pag sinabing combine similar terms, pagsasamahin natin yung mga parehong variables, and then parehong mga numbers lang. Okay? So, let's do that. R plus R plus 6 plus 1 over 3R minus 6. So, r plus r is equal to 2r, then 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 over 3r minus 6. So, eto ngayon yung ating magiging final answer. Although nakita natin na itong denominator ay factorable, eto namang na numerator niya ay hindi naman. So, this will be our final answer. Okay, let's go to number 2. So, 3 over 2x minus 18 plus 9 over 2x minus 18. So, we have here the denominator of 2x minus 18. Then, we add 3 plus 9. Madali lang. So, that becomes 12 over 2x minus 18. Since nakikita naman natin na pwede naman siyang isimplify, let's try to factor the denominator. 2x minus 18, may common factor siya na 2. Then, the other factor will be x minus 9. And then, yung 12 will become 6 times 2. Pwede natin siyang i-cancel yung 2. And that means, ang final answer will become 6 over x minus 9. Let's now go to subtraction, pero similar pa rin. Okay, so 2x plus 3 over x plus 5 minus x minus 3 over x plus 5. So, let's solve. x plus 5 ang denominator. Then, copy 2x plus 3 minus the quantity x minus 3. Now, bakit ko nilagyan ng parenthesis yung second numerator? Kasi, kapag minus ang sinusundan ng isang binomial, kailangan lalagyan natin siya ng parenthesis. Kasi, ang tinutukoy na sinasubtract nitong subtraction symbol na ito ay mismong buong binomial, hindi isang variable lang or isang term lang. Kailangan magkasama ang buong binomial na sinasubtract niya. So, kapag ka mayroong parenthesis, ibig sabihin, Mababago ang sign sa loob. That's the rule, hindi ba? So, that becomes 2x plus 3 minus x plus 3 over x plus 5. Then, equals 2x combined similar terms minus x plus 3 plus 3 over x plus 5. Final answer? 2x minus x is x, 3 plus 3 is 6, over x plus 5. Okay, 
This will be our final answer. Next is 5x plus 1 over x squared minus 64 minus 4x minus 7 over x squared minus 64. As you can see, yung ating denominator, pareho siya na difference of two squares ang kanyang classification. So, x squared minus 64. Then, 5x plus 1 minus the quantity 4x minus 7. Same process. 5x plus 1 minus, change the sign, minus 4x plus 7 over x squared minus 64. Then, combine similar terms. 5x minus 4x plus 1 plus 7 over x square minus 64. Medyo mahaba. Equals 5x minus 4x is x. 1 plus 7 is 8 over x square minus 64. So, ito yung sinasabi ko. Difference of two square siya. So, meaning, meron siyang factors. Ano yung factors niya? x square Minus 64, ang factors ay x plus 8 times x minus 8. Then, yung numerator natin is x plus 8. So, meaning, meron siyang ikakancel. So, kailangan natin ikancel ang x plus 8. What will be our final answer? Our final answer will be 1 over x minus 8. So, eto yon. Yan ang simplified answer natin. O, oh, punta na tayo ngayon sa magkaibang denominator. This similar rational algebraic expression. So, medyo mahihirapan tayo ng konte, pero kailangan lang alam natin kung paano kumuha ng LCD. Let's start. Okay. 1 over 5x plus 1 over 3y. In this case, the denominators are different. Okay, iyan nga yung topic natin. Kapag ka wala tayong nakikitang common factor, ang ibig sabihin, ang kailangan lang natin gawin sa kanyang denominator is to multiply the denominators. Pwede natin isulat in factored form or pwede natin i-multiply kung madali lang i-multiply. So in this case, dito muna tayo bago natin i-finalize. So 5x times 3y divided by 5x is 3y. Then times 1. So that becomes 3y. Then 5x times 3y divided by 3y is 5x times 1. That is 5x. So ganun lang kasimple kapag monomial. O, eto na ngayon yung magiging final answer natin. 5x times 3y is... 15xy. So, ito ngayon ang simplified na. Okay? Next naman tayo. 2x over x squared plus 7x plus 10 plus x minus 6 over x squared plus 6x plus 5. Medyo parang masalimuot. Pero, kailangan din dyan yung factoring skills na naman natin. Ano yung magiging factors? Unahin muna natin i-factor ang x squared plus 7x plus 10 para makita natin kung ano ang magiging LCD natin. Okay? So, factors ng 10 na kapag inad natin, 7, that is x plus 2 times x plus 5. Okay? Then, yung kanyang factor, x squared, 6, eh, x squared plus 6x plus 5. So, that is x plus 5 times x plus 1. So, as you can see, yung mga factors nila, merong common factor. Ano yung common factor natin dito? x plus 5. So, that means, ang mga factor nito, imumultiply natin, but yung x plus 5 natin will be taken as one factor only. So, that means, our LCD will become x plus 2 times x plus 5 times x plus 1. Okay? Nakuha? 
Then we proceed to addition. Gawin na nating similar. O ano ngayon yung denominator? x plus 2 times x plus 5 times x plus 1 divided by x squared plus 7x plus 10. As you can see, ito yun, hindi ba? So, ibig sabihin, ito yung imumultiply natin, x plus 1 times 2x. So, 2x times x plus 1 plus 10. x times x plus 2 times x plus 5 times x plus 1 divided by x squared plus 6x plus 5. So, eto na naman yun, yung dalawang factors niya. So, ang imumultiply natin dun sa x minus 6 is x plus 2. So, that means x minus 6 times x plus 2. Okay? So, hindi pa dyan natatapos. Medyo mahaba-habang proseso pa ito. Imumultiply na natin ang nasa ibabaw or numerator. So, 2x times x is 2x square. Then, 2x times 1 is 2x. Then, imumultiply natin yung dalawang binomial. So, that is x times x is x squared. Then, negative 6 times x is negative 6x. x times 2 is 2x. Then, negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. Over the denominator, copy uli natin. x plus 2 times x plus 5 times x plus 1. Medyo nakakapagod, hindi ba? Mahaba eh. Then, we combine similar terms. 2x square plus x square plus 2x minus 6x plus 2x minus 12. Then, copy ulit yung denominator. Okay? So, hindi pa dyan tapos. Kailangan pa nating isolve. O, ngayon, ano yung 2x square plus x square? That is 3x square. Then, 2x minus 6x is negative 4x plus 2x is negative 2x. Then, copy the negative 12 over x plus 2 times x plus 5 times x plus 1. Now, yung numerator ba natin ay factorable? Hindi. So, ibig sabihin, kung hindi siya factorable, as is na yan. Hindi na natin siya ipa-factor, wala naman tayong kukunin ikakancel natin. So, ito na ngayon yung final answer natin. Since tatlo ang kanyang factors, pwede nang in factored form ang denominator. Okay na yan. Kasi may hihirapan pa kayo kapag kami multiply pa natin itong tatlong binomials na ito. Papayag na si teacher ng ganyan ang final answer mo. Okay? O, subukan naman natin sa subtraction. Okay? So, 4x squared over x squared plus 9x plus 18 minus 2x minus 5 over x plus 6. Okay. Ang una natin gagawin is i-factor muna natin ang denominator kung siya ay factorable. So, since ang x squared plus 9x plus 18 ay factorable, i-factor natin. Ano ang factors niya? Factors ng 18 na kapag in mo, 9 ang lalabas. That is, x plus 6 times x plus 3. Then, since yung x plus 6 ay hindi naman factorable, as is lang siya na x plus 6. So, meron tayong common factor na x plus 6. So, therefore, ang magiging LCD natin ay yung x plus 6 times x plus 3. Yun ang mismong x squared plus 9x plus 18. Okay? So, let's proceed. So, ang denominator is x plus 6 times x plus 3 divided by this 1 is 1 times 4x squared is 4x squared minus x plus 6 times x plus 3 divided by x plus 6 is x plus 3 times 2x minus 5. That is 
2x minus 5 times x plus 3. Okay? Then, okay na. Then, i-multiply natin ang dalawang binomial. So, 4x squared minus 2x times x is 2x squared. Parenthesis muna tayo. Then, negative 5 times x is negative 5x. 2x times 3 is 6x. Then, negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Okay? Over x plus 6 over x plus 3. Then, remove the parenthesis. Change the sign. So, 4x squared minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 6x plus 15 over x plus 6 over x plus, ah, uh, times x plus 3. So, combining similar terms, 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared. Then, 5x minus 6x is negative x plus 15 over x plus 6 times x plus 3. Okay? So, ibalik na natin yung x plus 6 times x plus 3 dun sa dati niyang form na x squared plus 9x plus 18. Kasi, hindi na naman natin siya ma simplify or ma cancel So, x squared plus 9x plus 18. So, this will become our final answer. Okay? Mahirap ba? So, paano ba yan? Tapos na naman tayo sa ating lesson. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa ating lesson na ito. So, that's all for now. Bye!